Well, Smith and Carlos's silent protest was the inspiration behind the recent Take a Knee campaign by uh, NFL players here in America. It started when former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick knelt during the national anthem, and he said he was challenging racial injustice and police brutality. Well, President Donald Trump has repeatedly lashed out against NFL players who joined the protest. In September, he tweeted here, the issue of kneeling has nothing to do with race. It's about respect for our country, flag, and national anthem. The NFL must respect this. Well, here in Germany, soccer players showed their solidarity with the NFL demonstrators. Mm -hmm. Berlin's Hertha team took a knee before a Bundesliga match in October to protest against racism in sports. And I'm joined by the man who inspired those gestures of protest, a man who stood on the podium in 1968 with his fist raised, Tommy Smith. Tommy, thank you so much for joining us on our program a today. A pleasure, a pleasure, thank you. Great to have you. Take us back, as I know you've had to do so many times, to that day, October 16th, 1968. Why did you decide to raise the fist? I, Tommy Smith, uh, from a young child, one of 12, I have 11 uh, uh, siblings, uh, Tommy always wanted to do something that would move things forward, whether it was a rock in the, my, the fields that I worked in, whether it was a changing a wire on the fence, anything that I could do to make change forward, to make things better. And I was blessed to move forward enough, strong enough, to have a platform uh, to help uh, uh, human nature, the Olympic project for human rights, not the Olymp not the Olympic project for black rights. That's inclusive, of course. And because sure. I was black, because you saw a black fist, people associated that with power. Right, people? You're right. But also they said black power, which is representative of the black fist, which means power. So that's fine. <clears throat> but uh, it was my platform. It was not a platform of hate. It was not a platform of a remorseful sin. It was a cry for freedom coming from a young 24-year-old's lips, a need to survive without war. Did you know that cry for freedom was going to be so controversial when you took to the podium? Uh, I hope people understand that anytime you cry for something, that means justice has not been done enough to make it uh, even a morality to be thankful for, really. Uh, at least it, most, most things of uh, more so should be thankful. No, I did not. To answer your question uh, 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 quickly, uh, but it did move to a point where others began to see, and still seeing, by the way, mm. even in athletics, that a need for them to become involved on a proactive level is mightyful. It justifies the uh, 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 illegality of, uh, of stupidity and the need to, uh, for them to get involved. Come on, folks, involve yourself. Still today, an important message. Now, a lot of people don't know that you received an incredible backlash after yeah. that gesture. Tell us what happened and how bad things got. You know, youngin, it was a backlash even before I got to Mexico City because this was not a, a spur of the moment ordeal. It was definely justified in the meetings of uh, young black athletes who were hopeful for the Olympic uh, movement. And uh, because I was on the platform to start this at San Jose State University a year before uh, the Olympic Games. It was organized with finality, justification, and pride. Mm. And it was decided by all the athletes that there would not be a boycott, but each athlete would represent himself according to how he felt a country represented him. Yeah. That gave them the liberty to move freely in the Olympic uh, statues there uh, while the game was taking place. And Tommy Smith, who started the, the, the movement, Finish the movement. I want to ask you about another man on the podium that was uh, the silver medalist, uh, Peter Norman. He also took part in this protest. How significant was that? Well, uh, of course, uh, Peter made it, it, it significant in his own right by becoming the silver medalist. Peter's from Australia, as most people know, and uh, his whole family uh, had a history of working for freedom, and even in his country. Uh, so it wasn't so much that Peter backed Tommy Smith and John Carlos. Peter only showed his understanding, his belief also in human rights. So give him his pride in his own feeling, not Tommy Smith and John Carlos' involvement with him. Tommy, I want to ask you, as we were sitting here and you were looking at this image behind you, and you said, <laughs> is it big enough? Yeah. When you look at it, what do you feel? I feel sad for the kid up there doing that because I know he didn't want to do it, but he had to do it because he was put there uh, uh, through uh, divine spirit yeah. to do what 
no one else could do because of that was his platform. And everyone noticed, I'm sure, that it was a silent gesture. So each person who viewed that uh, hopefully saw themselves and wondered, why did, why am I doing this? Or what am I doing this for? Yeah. I know what Tommy Smith did it for, but what are the young people looking at it now? What does that mean to them? It's a positive, and I know it's a positive because it's been revealed to me through many, many cases, such as Colin, such as the football players, a need to move forward proactively without the, uh, the danger of, uh, of needing it later. This is a battle you've continu continued, and the reason you're in Germany is uh, you're receiving the Dresden Peace Prize. Yes, indeed. When you look, and congratulations to you on that, when you look at the situation today, do you feel satisfaction? Do you feel frustration? I feel a, a, a moral pride in people that want to find and create and move forward progressively. And this takes thoughtful conversation, not rapping, but confining your thought into words to make people understand that I'm for real, I want to move forward. Yeah, we know there's war. I just came from a city of Dresden that was destroyed by a war. I'm talking about peace, a talk. This is a new age. This is a new day. I think conversation, not only between brothers and sisters or uncles and aunts or dads, but I mean conversation of nations. Part of that conversation, even though we've come a long way, is the fact that we've seen the Black Lives Matter movement take off in the U.S. We saw on the wall behind us the image of Colin Kaepernick taking a knee and the criticism he's received. Also, yeah. LeBron James getting into a Twitter battle with sure. the U.S. president. Yeah. When you look at that, um, how far have we come? We've come a long way uh, verbally, a long way verbally. Uh, physically, we've come even further. That's why we've got to keep both of them as close, to possible, as close together as possible. And that's why the athletes are so important. Young folks see athletes as, as role models. They see athletes as actors. And I think the athletes owe, owe, owe a, a great uh, a, a opinionated due to the people who are watching them and trying to uh, take on a role such as them. So athletes, you're great. Why don't we move gratefully forward so these young folks can do better than we're doing to try to create a world from blowing up? Are you hopeful when you see movements like the one that was started by Colin Kaepernick? Are you hopeful for the future of athletes and the statements that yeah. they're making in sports? Yeah, I think it's going to keep moving. And my hope is that conversation will, 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 will bend the rules to the betterment of a factual uh, uh, getting together growing. You know, it's a grassroots now. And I think it's going to blossom to a beautiful rose someday. But we still have to till it. We still have to till it. You don't till a rose, it's not going to survive. That's a great note to end our conversation on, Tommy Smith. Congratulations to you on the Dresden Peace Prize. And thank you again for joining us on our My program. My pleasure.